And if you're not scheduled to be in my building, um, I, I don't I don't appreciate oh, that no, either. No, don't no. touch. I'm going to go talk to the Marge. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. My suggestion would be uh, stop taking taxpayer dollars. Well, they started. And, I'm not there for the meeting. I wanted to interview school. people on the way in. Uh, I think it's a closed meeting, so they would kick me out if I tried to go in. Oh, okay. Um, can I ask that you not wander about? We have a security thing. You can ask, but I don't think you got authority to. And I don't well, I am the head custodian, and if you're not scheduled to be in my building, um, I, I don't. I don't appreciate oh, that no, either. Don't no. touch. I'm going to go talk to the marge. <laughs> Yeah, I think my thinking is that taxpayers should be able to see at least what the school looks like with their money. Um, I appreciate that, and we work hard to keep it clean for them. It is clean, and I'm going to mention that. Well, I guess I just did. Just uh, poke around and, until I can find an exit, <laughs> so I can uh, comply with their questionable order. You always want to have, ideally, two layers between you and a violation of the law, if possible. So, leaving and also, uh, uh, also probably not being required to leave. Those are the two layers. Yeah, if they've got enough money to afford one of these, if there's, well, you, you'd think they'd have enough money to hit better than two-thirds literacy proficiency. And for all I know, Maybe they are better than that. You know, maybe maybe kneecap is wrong. Looks like this large number of people are allowed to wander the halls. All right, so while I was in the high school building, I uh, set down my jacket. Uh, it sat there for about 45 minutes in the general area where I was. Uh, when I went to take a look at how the school looked, uh, as soon as I got back to my jacket, it was gone. Even though it was placed in a hidden location and no one saw me put it there. This seems to happen to me almost every time I go to a government school. So it only took 45 minutes for the thing to disappear. Uh, and I'm out here kind of shivering at the, uh, the next part. There's a, uh, an open Merrimack School Board meeting that occurs here at Town Hall. It starts you know, an hour after the closed meeting started at the high school just a couple blocks south of here. Are you with the school district, ma'am? Yes. Question, what, what position? School counselor. Oh, question. Uh, you guys have a school resource officer, correct? Uh, who are you? Again? It's Dave Ridley with RidleyReport.com. It's like a oh. number two YouTube channel in New Hampshire. That's all right. Thank you. So you do have one, I guess. My question is, how many arrests do you know that did he make last in the, over the last year? I can't answer that. Sorry. I must have how many of these arrests, if any, were victimless crimes? Is there anything that you know of that shows it up? Once again, are you with the school district, ma'am? 
you have to cut what, it. What position, if I might ask? Dig out the root um, system. Why? <laughs> I beg your pardon? Oh, yeah. so what, what, what's and your position with the school district? Is the roundup. I'm the special ed coordinator. Personnel coordinator? Uh, special ed. Oh, okay. Have you observed? I understand. I'm sorry, I need to get in. I understand you guys had a school resource officer, a policeman. Does he make arrests at the school of students? And how often, if so? LRN.FM. 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat.lrn.fm. That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to lrn.fm. Feds don't want you to hear them.